As we're talking about rhyme schemes and our literary devices, we also need to read some poetry so that we understand our rhyme schemes and how they're used by different writers. One of my favorites is Shel Silverstein, and we're going to read from Where the Sidewalk Ends. We're going to read page 46, Hector the Collector. And what I would like you to notice while I'm reading this um, is the rhyme scheme, how the words rhyme to make it a poem, and how he uses the words to complete his thoughts and those rhymes. So, Hector the Collector. Hector the Collector collected bits of string, collected dolls with broken heads, and rusty bells that would not ring. Pieces out of picture puzzles, bent up nails and ice cream sticks, twist of wires, worn out tires, paper bags and broken bricks, old chipped vases, half shoe laces, Gatlin guns that wouldn't shoot, leaky boats that wouldn't float, and stopped up horns that wouldn't toot, butter knives that had no handles, copper keys that fit no locks, rings that were too small for fingers, dried up leaves and patched up socks. Worn out belts that had no buckles, electric trucks, trains, oh, excuse me, electric trains that had no tracks, airplane models, broken bottles, three legged chairs and cups with cracks. Hector, the collector, loved these things with all his soul, loved them more than shining diamonds, loved them more than glistening gold. Hector called all the people. Come and share my treasure trunk. And all the silly, sightless people came and looked and called it junk. So that was Hector the Collector. I want you to think about the rhyme scheme that was used. And I would like for you to try to write your own verse or two in that same rhyme scheme. And you can submit that in the comment section. And I will evaluate that for you and, and look at that for you. And we will discuss it in the discussion.